uh, so this week, um, we'll talk about our first uh, machine learning model. And I think you have learned this one from your statistics. So that is a simple linear regression model. So that is probably the simplest one. Um, so we want to see that how we can create a simple linear regression model in a right minor. So we will do a very simple uh, prediction for the on the house price uh, in this week's lab. Um, and also we are going to introduce another very important concept that is called gradient, um, gradient descent. Uh, so this is very, very important in machine learning because uh, a lot of machine learning models, so they are using uh, gradient descent to find out the best uh, parameters of those models. Uh, so this concept is a little bit advanced. So this concept is a little bit advanced, so it requires uh, the knowledge of calculus. Uh, so I don't uh, expect that you can fully understand this content uh, because it, it is um, a little bit advanced. Uh, but since it's very, very uh, important in machine learning, because you are seeing this one a lot in uh, in all kinds of machine learning models, uh, so I just want to give you a very, very brief introduction. So give you an, an idea that what is that and also why that can help us to uh, find out the best parameters of those machine learning models. In another way, so why can we um, be success in machine learning. <clears throat> okay, so the first concept, let's talk about the derivative. Uh, so derivative is donated as this one. So that means that uh, if we have a function um, fa, uh, the derivative is, is called the prime of this function. So f prime of x. And uh, so that is a mathematical definition of the derivative. So basically that means that uh, so when the difference is very, very small, so when for example, the edge is very, very small, so how the, the change of that function, the value of the change of that function divided by the small values. So for example, if we say f x, um, the function is defined x squared, so so that means that, so if we have function that is like this, so x plus uh, a very small value, h squared minus x squared and divided by h. So, so now the, the derivative of this function is that, so when the h is very, very small, so close to zero, okay, so when the h is very, very small, close to zero, so then this value, will be the derivative of this function. Okay, so that value is a derivative of this function. And uh, if you look at that on the chart, uh, so that is that when the edge is small enough, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line of that function at specific value. Okay, so at this point. So for example, if x equals two, so that uh, that is a slope where at this point, so 2, a equals 2, and also x squared, the function value will be 4. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so, and if that function has just one variable like this, x squared, okay, one variable, the derivative is upon xx, measures that how the function change when we make very small change to uh, to that variable. So that means that how the function change when we make very, very small change to this function. Uh, if the function is uh, contains many variables, so let's say f x equals uh, f x y equals this one plus y squared, and it has a multi-partial derivatives, okay? And uh, each indicating that how the function change when we make small change, uh, just one of the input of that variable. Okay, uh, so let's say that we have this function, um, this blue line, okay, 
And we can see that when the edge is small enough, okay, when the edge is small enough, so it indicate the derivative indicate the slope uh, of the tangent line, the slope of the tangent line at that position. Okay, uh, so that is a derivative. Uh, let's see one example that what does that mean. So let's say we are looking at this function. Uh, that x square, okay, and the derivative of this function of this function is two multiple x, okay. So, uh, if you don't know how to calculate the derivative, that is totally fine. So, uh, it's a little bit complicated to calculate derivative, but here I just just trust me that <laughs> the derivative of this function is this. Okay, uh, so what does that mean? So that does mean that the slope of this function at this point, so x equals 1, and also the function value equals 1 is this, okay? So we bring two multiple x, okay, and we get a slope. So the slope of the function at this point will be uh, this derivative function. And the slope of uh, this function at this point, so x equals minus 5, and the output of this function equals 25, and slope will be of that uh, function at this point will be minus 10. Remember that is the slope. Okay, uh, so if we look at that one on the chart, we can see uh, this brown one uh, is a map of this function. And if you look at the first one, the slope at 1.1, 1 .1, 1, 1, okay, x equals 1, and also function equals 1. And we can see the slope is the slope of this tangent line equals 2. Okay, so the slope of this tangent line equals 2. And when x equals minus 5, so when x equals minus 5, the function, the value of the function equals uh, 25. And the tangent line is this green line. And the slope of this tangent line equals minus 10. Okay, so the slope of this tangent line equals minus 10. Okay, so the, the derivative can tell us the slope of the function of the tangent line of function at specific point. And the tangent line can tell you that so so the tangent line of this point is like this, for this one is like this. And for this one, it's like this. Okay, so that is the derivative. So, okay, so the idea that behind the gradient descent. So first, gradient descent gradient is a multivariable generalization of the derivative. So, uh, when you have multiple variables, the multi -gener generalization of the derivative is called gradient. Or you can use a single variable, so it's also called gradient. And gradient gives the input direction in which the function will increase the, the, the most quickly. Gradient gives us the input direction in which the function most increase quickly because it tells us the tangent line, and if you go through the tangent line, and that is the direction that the function increase uh, quickly. Okay, <clears throat> so what does that mean? So for example, if you want to find out the maximal um, value um, uh, of this function, we can see probably there are four maximal values. So what you can do is that you can, you can randomly pick a point and you can calculate the gradient, which is the multivariable generalization of the of the derivative. And so that will tell your direction. So that direction point to that. If you if you move forward along that direction, and if you move forward multiple times, okay, so that direction can help you reach the maximum value of that function the quickest. Okay, the most quickly. Okay, so 
One approach to maximize a function. So in machine learning, we want to maximize a function or sometimes minimize a function so that we can use this gradient descent technique. So the idea is that we, we pick up a, a random starting point and we can play a gradient from this point and we take a small step in the direction of this gradient. So for example, we take a small step here, so we reach here, and then we repeat this one, so we use this one point as a new start, starting point. We calculate the gradient, so here the gradient is like this, and we take a small step, and so now we are here, and we calculate in this, along this direction of this gradient, and for this third point, we calculate the the gradient again, okay, so gradient is like this. We take a small step along this direction of this gradient, and we do it again, and again, and again. So by doing this, we can reach the maximal of this function very, very fast. Okay, so by doing this, we can reach the maximal of this function very, very fast. And in many cases, actually, we want to reach the minimal of that function. So if you want to reach the minimal of the function, you can just do the same thing, but you can take in a step that in the opposite direction of that gradient. So again, so if we go back to this example, so here, this example has one minimal value. So that is here. So how can we reach the minimal value of this function um, very quickly. So the answer is that we, we pick a random point, for example, here. We calculate the direction of the gradient, that's this. And we took the opposite function, that's this one. And we take a small step, so now we reach a second point. And at the second point, we calculate the gradient, probably, that is, probably that's this one. Again, and we took the opposite direction, we, and following this direction, we took a small step, and we now we reach the third point, and we do the same thing, and after a few steps, we will reach the minimal of this function very, very quickly. So you can see that by doing that, we can reach the minimal function very fast, so instead of, you see, uh, just go over all the uh, functions and finally reach that point. Okay, so gradient descent is a very efficient way that we can find out minimal or the maximal value of a function. Okay, so one more time. Gradient descent is a technique, mathematical technique that allow you to reach the minimal or the maximal of the function very, very fast.